It's 6.15, you are watching Wake Up Northwest, and in this week's Madeline Motivates, time management is never easy, but it can be even more of a challenge in home quarantine. Now, whether you're doing remote work or just trying to balance the responsibilities around the house, organizing your time can help you develop a productive daily routine. Well, that's why Paul Casey, calendar coach with Growing Forward Services, is on the phone right now to share his top three tips for time management. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. It's an honor to be with you, Madeline. Oh, so glad to have you. Well, Paul, what's the first thing that you recommend that can help us better manage our time? I would start by saying manage your time around your core values and your vision. Your core values are the things that are key to you. Like three of mine are faith, family, and growth. And I need to make sure I get those into my calendar first before other things crowd in. And when it comes to vision, a great activity to do is to figure out your life one year from now. Where do you want to be? In the main categories of your life because then you can start setting goals to get to that one-year vision of a better version of you. Hmm, I like that because you're actually putting your dreams to reality by putting those into your schedule. That's amazing. Now, you, you also, with your second tip, you recommend um, choosing a top three priorities for the day, but you actually put them on your list for tomorrow's to-do list. So can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. I recommend that before you, you call it quits today, before you wrap up today, budget a little bit of time to do a daily preview of tomorrow. Uh, sort of pull all your post-it notes together and think about tomorrow. What are the three things that I have to get done tomorrow or I would feel like, wah, wah, you know, I didn't get those things done. By doing that, it allows you to close your own today and go back to your home life. Mm -hmm. It allows you then in the morning to wake up and feel like, hey, I already know what my three things are tomorrow and I can just get right at it. Yeah, and you already know what to, what to focus on. Huh, interesting. All right, so also, why did you pick three priorities? Why not, for example, one, five, or maybe ten daily tasks? Yeah, because it really seems like what the human brain can really retain. So as soon as you add up to get to four, you start forgetting what one of those three things are. I think three is attainable, and if you have more than three priorities, you probably don't have any priorities, because then everything has become a priority. Ah, I think a lot of us do that. We add so many things to our to-do list, and at least personally, I think limiting it to that three, that actually makes you feel like you've accomplished something. Yes, like I've made time before, and if I get eight of them done, I still feel like, oh, I didn't get all of them done, even yeah. though it's five more than the average person. <laughs> right, right. Well, Paul, can you tell us your final tip for time management? Sure, I would say front load your priorities into the morning. So those top three, you're literally gonna block out time, specific time to do each one of those three priorities, and I'm saying do it early in the morning, as far away from the deadline as possible, because what happens when you, uh, when you eat that frog, so to speak, when you take care of that nasty task first, it actually sets you a, a productivity snowball for the rest of the day, and you end up getting more than three things done, and it feels great. Yeah, that's amazing, Paul. Thank you for your tips. And I know when we talked on the phone, he said, uh, yeah, it's just important. That way you get your productivity under control and really take control of your calendar and schedule everything. So one way you can do that, Paul has a free resource available on the website here on your screen. It's takebackmycalendar.com. And uh, he shares some tips on that site that can really help you right now. Thank you, Paul. Keep going forward. <laughs> I love it.